This is a Thor News presentation. Ison's nucleus was bigger than Earth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to kick this one off, I was working on WTF NASA Part 50, and I had to stop and make this video because this question is too large to fit in that video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use our hot science teacher girl to do this scientific process. Number one, formulate a question. Where in the hell did NASA come up with its original and long-held, up into the moment, Ison, quote-unquote, died, conclusion that Ison's nucleus was only one to two miles wide? I'm going to make a prediction. My prediction is that not only are they wrong, they are insanely wrong. Did they lie? Are they that incompetent? Are they that bad at math? Or am I wrong? I guess we'll find out, or maybe we'll never know. Now let's test my theory and go over some analysis. Now it seems like there are three types of people. Those who say science is always wrong, those who say science is always right, and then there's us, us Thor News people. Maybe it's a little bit of both. <laughs> I mean, that, that wouldn't work, I guess, because that would mean everybody's wrong. But here we are, we're looking at the helioviewer.org, and they have, uh, they use a compilation. They use a compilation of all of NASA's Soho, Lasco, SDO cameras to where you can put them together in kind of a composite. And one excellent thing they have, they have an earth size comparison metric. So you can, you know, use, you can show the size of earth compared to the sun, compared to Comet Ison. And so that's what we're going to do. We are going to use this comparison to ask the question that if Comet Ison, who NASA pointed all their 16 cameras in a single spot, that Ison was not. So when Ison passed by the sun, they missed it, and then it shot out the other side of the sun. So we are using the footage from the 28th and the 29th to compare Earth to the size of Ison. And clearly you will see that Comet Ison is anywhere from 330 to 300 times the size of Earth. Now I understand coma, I understand tail, I understand sodium tail, ion tail, anti-tail, dust tail. What I do not understand is how on God's green earth could you ever explain to me that if the entire comet is over 300 times the size of Earth, that its core nucleus could be 1.5 miles. That thing had been supposedly spewing off 7 trillion pounds of dust since it passed Jupiter. And now we're looking at this and it would appear to me, based on coma tail, that Ison's nucleus was bigger than Earth. I would love to have you, science guy, Professional science guy, NASA guy, Phil Plate, Carl Batoms, Mike Brown, Amy Mainzer, Neil Tyson DeGrassi, Neil DeGrassi Tyson, anybody, Dr. Astro Mutt, Green Girl, Hydra, I don't care. Explain to me how something with a 1.5 mile nucleus could create something that is like a billion miles wide. I mean, are you going to use quantum theory, quantum mechanics? And the Big Bang Theory that nothing exploded and from nothing came an infinite amount of solar systems, an infinite amount of stars, an almost infinite amount of planets that somehow from one grain of sand, a hundred thousand mountains were created. Someone please explain to me how Comet Ison could have had a 1.5 mile nucleus and been what looks to be half the size of the sun. Can someone explain that to me? The concept of this video is very simple. I think NASA was wrong the whole time. I do not think they will admit it, and I'm not even going to speculate on why they were wrong. I just want somebody to explain to me how NASA came up with that theory, and now that we've been beyond perihelion, how something 1.5 miles in diameter could have created something 300 million miles wide. That don't make any sense. I believe my theory is correct. Comet Ison's nucleus was larger than Earth, and if you take between 1.5 miles and larger than Earth, I'm pretty sure it's closer to my theory than theirs. So debunkers, come on down. I will be more than happy to have you explain to me this quantum surreality. Don't make no damn sense, man. Being spewed off trillions of cubic feet of dust for like half a year. Come on, what you gonna do? What you gonna say? How you gonna debunk this one? All right, y'all, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go right back to working on Comet Ison Part 50 because that's gonna be way funnier than this one. I just felt this had to be said and asked. Like, explain it to me, bro, bro. You could do it, man. You guys are freaking geniuses and I'm just a poo-poo brain who's so dumb, I have to buy Velcro shoes. And I even pronounce Velcro, Velcro.
That's how dumb I am, man. I'm so dumb. Dumb people call me dumb. I am so dumb. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I ask is, how much does a Hemingway? Crap, this video might have broke my funny.